Okay, so a massive warm welcome to tonight's, oh, hang on, just um, <laughs> before I get started, I just saw somebody, someone pop up in the chat. Jane Morgan can't get on, please, can you send a video? Yeah, absolutely, just any, but just pop in the chat any comments, we can send that through. So yeah, just a massive warm welcome everybody to tonight's um, first ever virtual um, facial experience. Just, we're really, really um, grateful and happy that you've all joined us, and we're really excited to be able to experience these products and just some techniques that you're going to be able to integrate into your own personal regime back at home. Just being able to use skincare products and just, just having a better knowledge really of the ways to use them and how you can benefit your skin in a more like proactive and positive way. Um, so many of you have may already been <laughs> heard of Arbonne for a while and have been using our RE9 products. Um, myself for four years, I've been absolutely loving the RE9, which is ultimately, you know, initially our flagship skincare line. Um, but tonight we're going to talk you through just the most phenomenal range called our Age Well. So a lot of the products, you've got the pots and they're probably a bit anonymous there. You've got no labels or anything on, just numbers. Um, but you've got in there the Age Well samples, which is just incredible. And every year Arbonne brings something new to the table. We are just overwhelmed and astounded by the level and quality and the way that they improve the product year on year. And honestly, um, I have to say that they have just outdone themselves with the age well. And um, you instantly, even from using really great superior products, I instantly could tell a difference on my skin just from one application. Um, it's just incredible, the age well. And ultimately, the reason why age well is so profound now and really really results driven is that we know and we hear a lot in the news um, about retinoids or retinol and retinol really is the it's the it's the daddy ingredient it's the item that really is about the anti-aging it's the ingredient that's about really it changes the DNA makeup of the of the skin as well so you're actively seeing you know complete changes but retinol really is very unstable um, it can be quite abrasive or harsh for the skin over long-term use so whilst we're getting those results, it sometimes can be a bit of an irritant over a long period of time. And it's particularly unstable when it's combined with other ingredients. So normally when you see retinol products, it's usually a standalone product. And actually for a while, Arbon had our Genius Pads, which are phenomenal, but it was a standalone product that we integrated into the skincare regime. So, you know, when, when we've got this retinol, it normally doesn't mix well very well with like orange stem cell technology or the vitamin C, which is part of our age well and part of the RE9. And the products, if you've not already seen them or had them, are honestly just, I mean, they're just stunning. They are so beautifully packaged in here. They absolutely just, um, they just look so luxurious, not to mention how they feel on your skin. Um, and they all come packaged like so. And what's really amazing about this now, this time around, is that Arbonne have reduced the amount of plastic by 90%. So actually every single bottle in here, bar the cleanser, which is plastic just for safety reasons in the shower, is all now 100% recyclable glass. So it's just, I mean, just having that in your, in your bathroom, just being able to use that, just feels so luxurious. And you can just see the quality in there, you know, not to mention, obviously the impact that we're having on the environment from being able to reduce the amount of plastic by up to 90% just from this range alone. So in your, um, in your sample packs, you will have received obviously the little plastic pots. And you know, we've, we've really got a commitment as well as consultants to make sure that we are upholding our kind of commitment to the environment. So in your little boxes, you should see at the bottom, either you will have been sent a second class stamp or a, printed postage label please um pop your pots back in and um, put them back in the box and send them back so we can recycle we can you know we can clean them and recycle these pots so we're just reducing the amount of single use plastic um just wanted you guys to be able to have that experience now the difference with arbon and the age well products and why why this is so different is because we're not using retinol but we are using something called the cuchiol which is actually a proven and this new kind of buzzword and ingredient that's used in skincare. That's almost, it's proven to be better or on par the results with retinol, but it's more stable. We're able to now mix it with the technology that our RE9 originally had with, this, with the vitamin C and the sustainable stem cells. So we haven't got that redness. We haven't got this, you know, concerns about putting on retinol and not being in sun, direct sunlight. 
it's really, really stable in the products. And this is why you're actively within your skincare regime every morning and every night being able to get the results that retinol can give you. Um, but through this Bacuchiol that's mixed into this skincare range, which is just incredible. And it's just so calming and soothing for the skin. Um, so that's enough from me. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to hand over to Rachel, who's actually a qualified beauty therapist, um, skincare specialist, and she's going to be talking us through um, talking us through this evening and how we utilise these products in the best way. Amazing. Good evening, everyone. So I am so super excited to be doing this with you this evening. As you know, my profession, skincare is, it just excites me so much. I just love skincare. I love I love the results it creates and you know like Jade said I've been an avid RE9 user since obviously I was joined with Arbonne and I was really apprehensive if I'm honest when Adriel came out I was like how can it get any better but um it's just blown all of our socks off so if this is the first time that you are using the age well I can't wait to hear the feedback at the end because I promise you it you'll be just blown away just like we were for the first time and I've actually I've had my skincare set for oh goodness it's been a good few weeks now since it came out and I actually still keep mine in a box because I get so excited when I open the box every time I come to use it I just love it um so yes yeah, so mine gets put away in the nice box so it's all beautiful and looked after so I just also want to before I start I want to say to Anna I absolutely love the headpiece I love that she's so prepped for this evening so looks amazing Anna you popped up you were the first one I saw so I absolutely love that um okay so before we start can everyone hear me all right with the music it's not too loud yeah we're all okay Right, okay, so before we start, if anyone's got any earrings in, if you wanna just pop your earrings out, just because we're gonna do a little bit of a massage around the ears, um, and obviously it's a bit, a bit of a pain, like trying to massage around earrings and stuff. So if you've got any earrings in, or if you've got a necklace on, um, just pop them off. Um, if you've got any height, I think we're all in strappy tops, as I can see, so you're all perfect. If you're not, just pop your sleeves out, we don't mind pop them out just so we can do a nice little massage across the decollete area. So I think we're all ready. Have we all got our bowls of water, our flannels, our cotton wool, our products all out? Are we all good? Thumbs up everyone. We're all good. Right, let's start. So we are going to start first with our eye makeup remover. Um, this is probably one of the best eye makeup but eye makeup removers I've ever used purely because when you use it it just genuinely feels so soft around the skin it doesn't dry the eyes it really is so luxurious but I do want to say to anyone first if you're wearing false lashes I've just come back off holiday so I've actually have got false lashes on um if you have got false lashes on guys don't use this just because it's going to break because it's an oil it's going to break down the glue um that they use so if you have just skip this bit. Now, what I want you to do is grab your two bits of cotton wool. I think your guys, it may be in a pump spritz bottle. So what I want you to do is just spritz it on, pop your two cotton bits of cotton wool together, pop it on one side and then the other. So I am gonna just pop a little bit on just to, um, it doesn't mind if mine come off. And then I want you to just sandwich them together and then what I want you to do, do one at a time and then just place the cotton wool just on the eye. Just hold it on the eye. Just let it kind of absorb into the eye and in the lashes. And then I want you to do very sweeping motion down the lashes. One thing you don't want to be doing is doing this. Don't really rub around the eyes just because what it's going to do, it's going to, it's going to cause damage to the eyelashes. Our lashes are very delicate. Um, so you don't want to be really, really, I know probably a lot of us sometimes kind of do this to get our mascara off, but because it's that oil, it's really going to break down even the most stubborn um, mascara. So just hold it for a few seconds, do some light brushing down across the lashes, and then you can keep your eyes closed. You can brush up on the lashes. So I'll give you a few seconds just to do that. 
And then you can also, if you just have a little bit of residue of the um, mascara just under your eye, just sort of quarter it and then just rub very, very gently with the corner of the cotton wool just underneath and on top of the lashes underneath. As you can feel, it feels so oily and soft. It doesn't feel like stripping or dry around the eyes. I'll get you all, when you've all done that, just give me a thumbs up. I don't want to carry on if we're not all ready. Perfect. That's definitely not how I use the eye makeup remover, but I am very much. <laughs> I think we do because I think sometimes we do it because of speed. You know, we think, oh, quick, we haven't got enough time to, you know, spend on our skin. Um, but we actually do. We really, really do. It doesn't take long. Just by holding it on, it's going to start to break down the product. So we're all good. We are all good. Okay, I'm going to say I have got a few notes just because I can go off on a little bit of a tangent. Okay, so next, guys, I want you to grab your Well cleanser. So that should be labelled number two. If you've got that. So obviously this is how they come, like Jade said, in the plastic bottle for safety in the shower. Now, when you get your cleanser out, if you've got it in the little tub, maybe use a little spatula or a cotton bud to get a little bit out. You don't, but don't use it all. Save some because we want some more. And then literally pop a little bit in the palm of your hand. And then with your bowls of water, I want you to simply grab some of the water, pop it into the palm of your hand and foam very gently. So like that. Now the reason why we do this because Arbonne as a company, we don't contain any SLS products which are very stripping for the skin, they're very drying, but it means that the product doesn't foam. So we have to activate it with water. So now you've foamed, what I want you to do is I want you to start on your neck area. But what I also want you to do, I don't want you to kind of do this and rub like crazy. I want you to do soft, sort of like effleurage movements up the neck. Because you want to go up with the blood flow and then up on your cheeks as well. and up on your head. So you're really getting that product in. And then you can work back down, but still doing your sweeping movements. Till it kind of dries. I'm sure if anyone caught us all on Zoom now, they'd think, oh my God, what are these crazy women doing? And then I want you to grab a flannel or you can wet cotton wool if you don't want to use a flannel. Just pop it in your water. Try and use hot water if you can, just because it really opens up the pores. Now what you can do, I tend to kind of wrap mine around my hand, so it almost creates like a mitt. And then you're just wiping upwards. Again, you're not sort of grabbing the flannel and really rubbing at the skin. So you're really, this is really breaking down all the surface dirt and like any makeup you've been wearing throughout the day. And again, just doing any upwards motion. You don't want to drag it down. Like so. So your skin will feel instantly cleaner. But what we're actually going to do now, we're not going to pat our faces dry yet. We're actually going to get another little bit more of cleanser because it's so, so important to be double cleansing your skin. It's like 
you know, the way we're recommended to be double cleansing our hair. The first cleanse lifts that surface dirt and grime or makeup. But that second cleanse is really getting deep down into the pores and, you know, really lifting all that sort of deep set dirt and grime, if you like. So again, get a little bit more cleanser. Do exactly the same. So you're going to grab a little bit of water, put it into the palms of your hands, foam it. And then again, upward motion. Now you will probably find that on your second cleanse, it will feel a little bit more foamier. That's amazing, isn't it? It feels completely different the second time around. So do it up once. And then what you can do is with your fingertips is do little circular movements, but not too much pressure. Don't scrub at the skin. Really nice circular movements, keeping it soft, getting all those areas like in the, like the crack of the nose, on the lip, really getting that um, skin nice and clean. All in the eyebrows, it's really important to look clean through the eyebrows as well. Behind the ears. And then same again, wetting your flannel or your cotton wool and just removing in exactly the same way. Now the reason why we cleanse in this way rather than rubbing the face is A, we want to, you know, we don't want to be pulling down because we don't want to be creating any unwanted wrinkles. Let's face it, we don't want any more. Um, and, well, some of us have, I do, anyway. Um, but also it's really, really good for your lymphatic drainage um, by doing it this way. Now what I want you to do after this, I want you to get a dry towel or a flannel and simply pat your skin dry. Again, don't rub it, just pat it dry. And as you can feel, it feels so soft. Does anyone before, you know, before this cleanser that they're using this evening, does anyone ever feel quite tight and quite, you know, stretched? Whereas this feel, I think it because it's got those surfactants in it and it's obviously that silky sort of feeling, it generally feels really soft on your skin. And that's exactly how it should feel. It shouldn't feel like it's stripped all the goodness from your skin. So that is your um, cleansing part done. Um, again, obviously you could you'd be in the shower, so you can do this in the shower exactly the same. Um, I would also say if you're using flannels to take your makeup off, just use them once, um, use them and then obviously wash them because um, you don't obviously it's gonna have sort of dirt and grime and stuff. So your second, no, we're on three, third part is where you would be doing your exfoliator. Now, I know we desperately wanted to pop a prep work um, exfoliator in with your kits, but unfortunately we have a huge container stuck with um, mass products, um, but obviously due to COVID it's stuck and it can't get to the UK. Um, but we wanted to bring you the second best thing, which is our vegan milk which is at our super calm so we are going to um, use this as our exfoliator now it's so so important that you are exfoliating your skin pop your hands up if you exfoliate your skin good 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 i like that if you don't that's absolutely fine but it is just i can't stress enough how important it is to be exfoliating your skin because you know it's great to be cleansing but as we get older 
like our skin, it, it slows down. It just generally slow down. So it needs that little bit of help of getting rid of the, the dead skin cells on our, on our face, on our body all over. Um, and we can be putting all the creams in the world on, but if we're not removing that dead skin, those dead skin cells, then you're just kind of treating them. You're not actually going deeper into the different layers. So it is super important to be exfoliating. Um, but also another little tip, if anyone has um, an oily skin type, I know um, myself, I had an oily skin type and, you know, our first reaction is to scrub and scrub and scrub to get that oil away. But what you're actually doing, if you're scrubbing too much, you're actually stripping the skin of its protective like oil layer. And what the skin does, it's like, oh my God, I need to create more because I need this protective layer on the surface. So it, it's like a, a vicious circle, like you're scrubbing away, um, taking that protective layer off and it's just creating more. So all you want to be doing, and we're obviously gonna show you with the, with the milk, but you just wanna be doing really gentle once a week minimum twice a week more if your skin's dry once a week for oily skin is absolutely ample um you shouldn't be over exfoliating so your number three is your milk so it'll be your little white and that i want you to pop a little bit in the palm of your hand now with this because it's a milk you don't need to activate anything with water we all got it. Yeah, I think we're all good. Now what we want to be doing is, you've got it in the palm of your hand. Instead of like rubbing it in your hands like we foamed the cleanser, I just want you to simply do that with your skin, uh, with your hands, sorry, and do exactly the same as we did with the cleanser. So we're starting on the neck, but we're just simply doing a few little movements. And this is just purely to distribute it over the skin. So we've distributed it all over our skin. And then we're gonna do like the exfoliation part. So on the neck, the same as we did the cleanser, we're gonna do those upward motion, lifting them, them jowls up. And then when we get to the face, what I want you to be doing is using the tips of your fingers. Um, just like we did, do circular motion. And this is exactly what you do with scrub. So if you've got a scrub at home that you, you use and you love, be doing this with your scrub as well. So really, really gentle sort of um, circular motion. I know a lot of people at the minute are suffering with um, their skin, especially obviously where they're wearing masks. Um, but like I say, don't overdo it because you're just gonna be taking too much of that protective oil off. So nice circular motion with the milk. Around the eyes. Again, till it's all rubbed in. Now with your feel that with the milk, you don't actually have to remove the milk with this cleanser. Obviously, if we were using an exfoliator, you would remove that with um, a flannel, just like we were doing the cleansers. Are we all good? Yeah, I think we're all good. Okay, so the next bit we are gonna move on to is the toner. Now, I think you guys will all have it in your spritz bottle as well. Now, I absolutely love this, and I love the way they've a packaged it but also how they've created the actual spritz i know that sounds really silly but a lot of spritz products can be very like sort of strong when they spritz onto the skin whereas this creates such a sort of a, a lovely mist so it really covers a wider area on the skin so if you have you can either spritz it out of your bottle or if you want you can spritz it onto your cotton wool and wipe it that way so if you're spritzing it out of your bottle, open it, uh, hold it at like a half an arm's length, close your eyes. Four pumps is absolutely enough. I just love it so much, I overuse this <laughs> so much. 
if you're doing it with your cotton wool, like I say, just pop it on your, um, spray it on your cotton wool and just gently just wipe it over the area. Now what that's, what um, a toner does, it corrects the pH balance of your skin, but it also helps to close the pores slightly. Because we've obviously opened them, we've warmed them up by using the cleansers, we want to close them slightly. Also great for if you're on holiday to refresh the skin, um, if you fly a lot or driving in a car, with heating on, they're great for just having it in your handbag just to spritz over your skin. So are we all done, are we all toned? Yeah, amazing. Any questions so far? No, we're all good. Right, so the next part, this is my absolute favorite bit because this is the favorite, my favorite bit about when I get to do facials on my beautiful clients. So we're gonna grab our oil. So this is obviously what it looks like in a full size up but you will have it in your parts so I want you to take all pretty much all of your oil and pop it in kind of create like a bit of a cup with your hand and pop it right in the middle perfect okay and just like we did with the cleansing milk I want you to brush across once don't rub it into your hands because the heat from your hands it's just going to absorb it and again just like we did the cleanser start on the neck and work our way up just to distribute the oil on the skin Always making sure you get the neck as well. The neck's actually the first area to start the set of signs of aging. It's quicker than your face. So it's really, really important to do the neck as well. So we've distributed it all over the face. Now you may feel a little bit of like warmth in the skin. That's really, really good because the blood is starting to flow around the skin. So if you feel a little bit of warmth, that is absolutely brilliant. And also if you've got a little bit of redness, brilliant. So don't be alarmed by that. Now the first thing we're going to do is really again warm the skin even more. We want to get the blood pumping through our skin. So we're going to do a simple um, massage first and then we're going to do a little bit of lymph drainage and we're going to do some pressure points as well. So if I'm going a bit too fast I'll try and slow down. Um, but if I'm going a bit fast just pop your hand up. Um, so we're going to start on the neck and we're going to do really slow movements of the skin. So really work that oil into your skin. Now, if you do, if you, if your neck is an area of concern and you want to kind of lift things up a little bit, you can go quicker if you want. But if it's just more for relaxation, then keep it slow. I love how we all speeded up there. <laughs> We're all like, yeah, we need that. <laughs> so really, really take your time. And then we're gonna move on to the chin. So what we wanna do I create almost like a bit of a sandwich and it's with my thumb and these two fingers and just kind of grab your chin and just move your hands out. Again, if it's just more for relaxation, do it nice and slow, don't apply too much pressure. If you do wanna, if you need some kind of extra work on the area, do it a little bit quicker. And really work it out, work it out right to behind the ears because we've obviously got glands behind the ears to work with our drainage. Okay, then we're going to move on to the cheek. So if we do one side first, we're going to use our fingers. And again, this is very similar to the neck. If you're relaxation, do it slow. If you want 
sort of plump things up and move things up a little bit, go a bit quicker. So what we're going to do, we're kind of going to, almost like playing a piano, so you kind of want to move your fingers up. And then you can move on to the other side. Do you like, sorry, Rachel, are you doing like one, two, three, four, oh. like that, almost? Five. Oh, okay. Almost like playing a piano. If that is a bit tricky, like if you're finding that a bit tricky, just simply just um, keep your fingers close together and you can just do some soft sort of effleurage movements of the cheek. It's so different actually doing this to myself when I'm used to doing it to other people. Okay, and then we're going to go on to the lip around the mouth. Now we're going to create a V with our fingers and we're going to start one side, we're going to use both hands, but we're going to start one side first. So we're going to sweep across up to the um, ear and then do the other side. So again, this is great for getting that blood pumping and make sure you cover across the lip line as well. Beautiful. Okay, then we're going to move up onto the eye. Now what I want you to do is to start right in the middle of your eyebrow, but use, sorry, using your ring finger. Now we use our ring finger because these are, this is our weakest finger, so we don't want to be um, obviously applying too much pressure, especially around the eyes because obviously our eyes are super delicate. Now what I want you to do, almost follow, like you'll feel your eye socket around. So you almost want to follow your eye socket. You don't want to be applying product into where we get our sort of dark circles, because the product, your skin naturally soaks it up. So we don't want to fill our eyes with too much product. So start at the brow, and we're going to do very soft circular motion, around the eyes. This is also great. Um, I'm gonna actually share, if I can, I think we can do it. Um, there's some great techniques um, to do with sort of lymph drainage and pressure points with people that suffer with sinus issues and headaches. Um, if I can, I'll post a couple of pictures um, so you can kind of look at them back. Um, things that you can do at home. But this is a great one for really relieving if you suffer with your sinuses. So really beautiful circular motion around the eye. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the head. So we're just keeping our fingers together and we're just doing really soft movements, moving across, so start from the middle, moving across, really lifting the brow. Beautiful, and then sweep it round your hairline, 
and just a slight bit of pressure on your temples. Beautiful. Now we're going to move on to our lymph drainage. Now what I want you to do, I want you to start back at your neck um, and I want you to hold, I'll just move my camera down. Here. Hold your neck here. I want you to sweep your hands out. So applying probably a little bit more pressure than you were. Sweeping it out. So you're almost like sweeping it sort of close to your armpits almost. Beautiful. And now we're going to do a uh, movement from our neck, but I want you to move it more to the back of your ears. So kind of start in here and moving it up to the back. So you can probably do it be easier to do one side first and then do the other. Now we're going to move on to the chin. Now with the chin, you can either use your two fingers or you can use that sort of grabbing technique. Again, it's entirely up to yourself. But all you want to do, you want to be starting from the middle of your chin and just working that up and taking it right to the back of your ears again. Rachel, what, why are we doing this? Just so we lymph drainage obviously it's really good to drain the lymph from the skin to remove those sort of unwanted toxins I know this is probably not something that you do on a daily basis um, but it's just a great treat and something that you know is really important for the skin this oil is amazing for doing it as well it's so easy to use and I think what the lovely thing about the nourishing facial oil is because it's a dry oil, it's not like thick on the skin. It generally feels really, really beautiful. And again, we're going to go to the top of the lip and do the same and take it to the front of the ear. So your skin should be feeling really nice and warm as well. We're really getting that blood pumping. And then we're going to move to just at the side of the nose and just kind of under the eye, but again, not too close um, to the eye. And we're going to do it exactly the same. I'm really sweeping that up. I'd probably say again, if you suffer with um, your sinuses, you can apply a little bit more pressure in this area. Really lifting that skin. This is draining the glands from the nose, but also under the eye as well. And then we're going to move to on top of the brow. So starting in the middle, with the two fingers, just run over the brow and down to the front of the ear.
and then we're going to move to the top of the head. So use obviously depending on forehead size. I've got quite a big forehead, so I'll use all of my four fingers, and we're just going to simply sweep that down. Again, to the front of our ears. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to sweep for the last time, go past the front of the ears, go right to the back, and you've got a pressure point just at the back of your ear, just like we did with your temple. Give them a little press, give them a tiny little um, circle. Perfect. Now we're going to do our pressure points. So we're going to start at the top of the head first. So you've got a pressure point right at the top. So I use two fingers and we're going to do each area. We're going to do three tiny little presses. Again, add some pressure, not too hard, um, but apply enough pressure. So we're going to do one and release, two and release, three, and release. Then we're going to go down to just above the temple, almost like the edge, like the end of your eyebrow, and we're going to do the exact same again. So one and release, two and release, three and release. Then we're going to go to the inner the eyebrow so you might only want to press with one finger on here one and release two and release three and release then we're going to run the fingers down to the side of the nose just under the eye area we're going to do one and release two and release and three and release then we're going to come down to the edge of the mouth and do same again so one and release two and release and three and release then for our last one, we're going to take it right back to the back of the ears again. And do one and release, two and release, and three and release. Now there'll be so many, um, there's so many pressure points that you can work with and they are so, so effective, especially for people with headaches, migraines. Um, so if I can get that, I will um, either get Jay to send it out or, or if we can post it in, a, in the group um, for people to use. So the next part um, that we're gonna do is the mask. So grab what it is. So this is obviously what the full size um, looks like. So it'll look like your little pot of foundation. Got it all ready. Well, you can either apply this with um, a brush or you can just apply it with your fingers. Maybe use a cotton bud or a spatula to just get it out of the pots. So I'm gonna pop mine on the back of my hand. I was just asking how often should we um, do like use the facial oil to do that or use it? Um, I personally like to, I mean, I, I tend to use mine every day because I mix mine with my foundation. Um, I'd say at least once a week. So they're kind of the same time as you would use in your scrub. Um, and also, you know, if someone has got an oilier skin, um, it is still really been a beneficial to use an oil like don't be scared if you do have an oily 
tendency to stay away from facial oils because they are so effective. Um, so yeah, probably about once a week. Okay, so we're going on to our mask. Now this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this mask. This is our French pink clay mask. Um, it's just amazing to just gets all that dirt and grime and it just makes your skin feel incredible. I always feel like if anyone's had a microdermabrasion facial before, I generally feel after you've taken this off, that's what it feels like. It just feels so clean. Um, so pop it on the backs of your hands. And like I say, you can either apply it with a brush or you can pop it with your fingers. Now I will say apply it to your face first and if you've got any left over, pop it on your neck area and your chest area. So all I simply do is pop it on my fingers, rub it in without dragging the skin down, rub it into all those areas. Also with this mask, if you have um, any really sensitive areas, um, then you don't have to apply it to those areas. You can really pinpoint to where you want to apply the mask. Um, it's great, you know, if you get very like hormonal skin, like long time of the month, you can just put it on sort of areas that tend to get a little bit congested. Um, I know a lot of clients that have worked, are working like in the NHS have had this, you know, purely to put around their mouth because of wearing the masks and stuff. So again, applying it to the face, avoiding going too close to the eye. So kind of draw like a little um, sort of line under the, air, under the eye. So you're not getting it too close and you'll start to see it looks like you've got completely the wrong shade of foundation <laughs> so what will happen while you've got um while you've got the mask on i feel quite um I wouldn't say wet on your skin, but you can obviously tell it's a liquid form. But what will happen as we leave it on um, and go into the little head massage that we're going to be doing is you'll get a bit of tightening. Um, that's completely normal. The skin it dries just like clay does. Um, so yeah, just um, just let it dry. Allow it. It will go a lighter shade. Um, but the great thing is, as it's drying, you'll get to see where it's really drawing all those um, impurities and that like sebum and all that sort of stuff out of your skin. So are, we all, are we all masked up? I think we are. By the colour of all of your faces, I think we all are. I think at this point, should we say if anyone wants to go and get any top up of like hot water? Yes and um or top up your tea um i personally love to have a couple of cups of tea with mine <laughs> so if you've got the kettle boiled you can always top your tea up um, and then we can come back can't we to do yes definitely just whilst we are um waiting for people to um get topped up i just wanted to talk a little bit about the tea so you should have all had herbal tea you know go and get some water it's really important for us to stay super hydrated particularly for our skin you know it loves water and um this tea actually is um just such as it's almost a strange taste but such a clever blend of botanicals that are not only are put together to obviously help us with hydration but to um to help with digestion and our gut health as well which ultimately is is there to help our skin too um, but really key botanicals like licorice root, dandelion. Um, when I first had it, I don't know about you, Rachel, I thought I was a bit like, oh, this is a bit different. But actually now <laughs> I love the detox too. It's so hydrating and, uh, you know, I just can feel it's really just flushing all the toxins away. And, you know, it says what it's, you know, does what it says on the tin is detox tea. So um, you had actually, oh, why don't you just uh, mention about the skin elixir? Because that's... So we, um, if any of you are new to Arb, and if you're not, you've probably heard about it before because, you know, I think the majority of us use it. Um, and I've got a really great personal experience with this. Um, this is a natural collagen builder. So as we age, but the aging process starts from the age of 25. Um, so prevention is always better than cure. But what happens is our collagen production slows down. 
And what this is doing, this is actually, it's not giving us um, a false collagen. It's not, you know, giving us like um, an animal collagen. It's not like a fish extract or like a any other animal source extract. It's actually boosting our natural collagen that we produce in our skin. So it's the most natural form of collagen that we could get. Um, also with hyaluronic acid as well, but this is a drinkable um supplement um now me personally i pop it in my protein every single day it tastes gorgeous some clients i have they have it as a drink they like it um but i personally pop mine in my protein shake and it was one of those things that i have to admit i, I wanted to try it i wanted to see what it did and i couldn't believe the difference in my hair growth um so i was always that person that my hair got to a certain length and it just broke it never grew anymore um, and it always kind of looked a little bit dry and never you know we see all these lovely people with gorgeous bouncy hair and I just always felt a bit like lackluster and just a bit boring really um but it wasn't till I'd actually I think I probably took a, a selfie or something and I'd generally seen the the growth in my hair and how shiny it was looking and how thick and how full and I was finally getting rid of these broken bits of hair that we you know we get predominantly after like childbirth mine was um and I generally just couldn't believe the difference it was making um to my hair growth my skin my skin looked glowier um and I just generally felt better um so this is a great like add-on um because you know as it's not just about sort of treating the surface it's also about sort of delving a little bit deeper um and treating our gut as well because obviously it all that's where it all stems from so um so yeah the skin elixir is a great a great add-on um to any sort of skincare re regime to really boost that collagen so yes i think um i'm also i don't know what teas everyone got i've got um actually a biohydria tea um like i said i've come back off holiday and i think that being on the plane I generally felt really dehydrated. Um, so let us know what teas you've got. Have you all got the same? Have they all got the same? Some have got the ginger green tea and some have got the detox tea. So I'm not sure whoever's got a, a green label, it's the ginger oh, green. I, was gonna say, I can tell by everyone's label what they've got. Oh, Mel's got a ginger. Gemma's got a ginger. Um, let's see the name on that one. See everyone's name. Rachel's got, a Rachel's got a detox. I think Cara's got a detox. Lovely. So yeah, it's so so important. And like Jade said, it's it's one of those tastes where you taste it, you think, um, I can't say it's my white milk and two sugars, but <laughs> not that I have that anymore. Um, but it, it is definitely a taste that you get used to and you're actually really, as your palate changes, you actually really enjoy it. So uh, I've gone for the Biohydria. Okay, so I think we're all back from um, getting our fresh water um, and topping up. So what I'm going to ask you to do now is if you've got, um, I'm really going to ruin Anna now because I'm going to make her take a towel up. <laughs> um, if you've got your hair tied up, if you want to, don't feel that you have to do this if you don't want to get um, your hair down or anything like that. But if you don't mind, just pop your bobble out. Let your natural locks flow. And we're gonna do a gorgeous, um, very, very simple head massage. So what I'm also gonna do is get you to really sweep your hair back. So if you've got this part in, Really sweep it back, because we're gonna do a little technique. Right, so we're gonna start by doing um, some pressure points. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna have to turn around, so hopefully you can see this. Let me try and maneuver a little bit. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to be starting from the base. Can everyone see that when I turn around? Let me actually tie my hair back up so you can see. Just 
So you're going to be starting where your neck sits in here. Can everyone see that when I turn around? Yeah. So what you're going to be doing, you're going to be using your hands like this and you're going to be starting here. And again, just like we did with the face, you're going to be doing three like pressure movements in that one area. And then we're going to move out and then we're going to move out to the third area. So there's three pressure points right at the back of the neck. Does that, does that make sense to everybody? Yeah, perfect. So we're going to start, so we're going to do three, so we're going to do one, two, three, then we're going to move, one, two, three, and then the last one is almost like right at the back of your ears nearly, one, two, three. And then we are going to just put your hair down. Then we're going to start at the top of your head. So we're going to use, so probably use two fingers here. So we're going to use almost like right where the start of your hairline is. So we're going to do one, two, three. And we're going to move down slightly so we're going to run right down the hairline three one two three one two three now you can do you can do this repetitive um, so you can go again, which is really good for headaches or migraines. Now what I want you to do is to put your hands almost in your hair and what you're going to be doing, you're not going to be kind of like doing this with your hair so your hair's moving, you're going to be almost like moving your scalp so making sure you're moving the skin. So apply pressure so we're just going to start almost like round the back of the crown. And then moving slightly up to the very like top of the crown. This is also great um, if people have like leave-in conditioners or hair masks or hair oils to do. Pop these in first and then give yourself a little bit of a head massage to really sort of stimulate those follicles. Then we're going to be doing on top, so again, move hands and you're going to be working almost like either side of your um, centre part in and really moving the scalp as we do carry a lot of tension in our head. And then we're going to be moving right to the back. So kind of like this area of our heads. This tests our muscles, doesn't it? <laughs> Achy arms at the end of there. Now 
we're just going to be moving onto the ears. So what I want you to do, I'm going to talk it out through first and then we'll go over it. Just because if I do that, I can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> so what we're going to do, the first part is we're going to cup the ears just to really warm the area. And then we're just going to do a very light massage just with our first finger and our thumb, really sort of circulating from the lobe right round to the top. And then we're going to cup them again. And then the second uh, thing that we're going to do, we're just going to pinch from the lobe all around to the top of the ear. And then we're going to cup again. And then we're going to do a movement where we kind of pinch the ear and release. Pinch the ear, release. Pinch the ear, release. And again, doing that right to the top of the ear. So if we do it together, so if we cup first, and then starting down at the lobe, really like massage the lobe, like really stretch those ears. It's so lovely. I know it's probably not something we ever think of doing is massaging our ears. And then right to the top. And then cupping. And then we're gonna pinch pinch the lobe and then slowly move up to the top and then cup again and then we're going to do our last so we pinch the lobe and release so don't alter the pressure so keep that pinch and release pinch and release Pinch and release, pinch and release. Perfect, now the final part, we're gonna push our hair backs again, probably falling down. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna work with actually our hair and we're gonna work down like the hairline at the front. So what I want you to do is grab a small bit of hair from the front and what we're going to do, we're going to pull and release. So grabbing that small bit of hair at the front, pull back and release. So this should feel actually really nice. It shouldn't feel like sore. It should feel really, really nice. So pull and release. And then we're going to get the next section. Pull and release. And the next section, pull and release. Obviously not pulling that hard that you like pulling hair out or anything. Pull and release. Pull and release. Pull and release. Then you want to go back up to the start to do the other side. Pull and release. Pull and release. and release. Now this is something that you can do over your whole of your head. Like I say, it's easier when someone else is doing it for you. Now all I want you to do to finish is to grab all of your hair into a, kind of like if you're putting your hair into a pony. And then I want you to hold it, put your hand flat near, sort of like where your other hand is, and just pull and release. Now your scalp should feel really quite warm. Does it feel quite warm? Good. Now you, can, you can tie your hair up if you want to now. <laughs> you can leave it, please feel free to leave it if you don't want to leave it. Okay, so now we're gonna remove our masks. 
So just like we did before when we removed our cleansers. So you'll see now, if you've got a mirror next to you, you'll see like our, we've changed colour. We've probably got a few bits that you can almost see like little dots on those areas. Now I always have it here because that is generally my problematic areas around my chin. So you'll probably see some little, little sort of dots on the chin. You'll probably feel a little bit sort of tight, which is good as it's dried out. You're welcome to take your selfie if you want. <laughs> We all look very glamorous. So grab your flannels, nice and warm. And then what I want you to do, if you've got a flannel, I want you to fold it in half. And then half again, so it's kind of your quarter. And I want you to hold it onto the head. And then do it on one side. So what you're doing, you're really sort of wetting the mask. And the other side. And fold your flannel and using a forward motion again, don't sort of rub it off like this. Using your upward motion to remove. How often do you recommend um, using like a, a face, face mask? A face mask, again, a minimum of once a week, ideally a couple of times. Um, yeah, minimum once a week. This is really good for like almost getting rid of all the dead, dead skin cells as well, isn't it? I always personally love to use um, our masks in the bath. Um, A, because I think it's the only time we probably get that 10 minutes of not doing anything. Um, but the heat from the bath really opens up the pores. If you've, um, you know, you're suffering with your skin, it really helps to get that extra dirt and grime out. We obviously have a, a range of masks. Another favourite of mine is our cellular renewal, um, which is great for um, obviously getting the dead skin. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I think I'm just going to check in the mirror. I think I'm all good. So you might want to then, with your dry towel, just slightly pat your skin. So your skin should feel really, really nice and smooth, really soft, not dry, not tight, um, just generally really, really clean. Um, really the pores, it's great for reducing pore size as well, this mask. Um, you know, if that was an area of concern for you and it was in the sort of normal area, normal sort of area, we get open pores, you can just target those areas and just apply it to to those as well. So that is your mask removed. So we're moving on to, is it maybe five? Okay, number seven, serum. So I'm totally behind my um, We're going on to our serum. Now this is our collagen um, serum with our 2% Bacuccio. Now, if you've never heard of this Bacuccio before, you're probably thinking, what, what are these, for, you know, what are they on about, this Bacuccio? Um, just know it is the absolute daddy when it comes to anti-aging. I've honestly, and I, I keep saying this, in, in my professional opinion, I have never experienced skincare like I have this before. Um, and believe me, I've worked with many. 
um, the results he's giving in short term, in like a short time, are absolutely mind blowing. Um, it just feels amazing. Um, and also just know like having this 2%, I know probably 2% probably doesn't actually seem that much, um, but just know one of the leading brands worldwide, um, they use Bacuchiol in their products and they only have 0.5%. And these are probably products that they're spending hundreds of pounds purchasing. So just know with this collagen, with this um, collagen serum, with this 2% Bacuchio, it is just groundbreaking when it comes to um, anti-aging skincare. So with your um, serum, now one pump is enough, but like my toner, I do massively overuse my um, serum because I love it. But what I want you to do, I want you to apply your serum to the more like the tips of your fingers. So if you've got it in, you'll obviously have it in a, um, a little tub. So just try and like tip it onto your fingers. Perfect. And then what I want you to do is place your fingers together and just not rubbing it in, just kind of distributing it over your fingers. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do like a tapping movement. So just like that. The tapping movement all over the skin, over the lip, over the nose. Now, because our skin will be quite relaxed, because we've done all our lymph drainage, we've done all our pressure points, our skin will be relaxed. So this is really kind of livening things up again, waking our skin back up again. Getting that blood still pumping. And then what we're going to do is, sorry. I'm saying this product is literally like the breakfast oh. dinner in like tea, isn't it, for your skin? This serum. This is like the main treatment one. A serum, um, a serum works deeper than what a moisturiser does. Um, so it's so, so important. I know not many people actually use a serum. Um, but in my opinion, it's probably sometimes more effective than what just you, your moisturisers are. Um, so it's so, so important. So if you feel like you need to give your skin a little bit of a rub just to get the final bit of product, just again, use some nice like upward motion just to make sure all your product's in. Make sure you're always going around the nose as well. Just make sure it's all rubbed in. And this, to me, this smells absolutely beautiful. I love the smell of this. It's so, so good. So that is really like starting to feed your skin. And now we're on to our eye cream. Then it comes is a full size. It comes in the gorgeous glass bottles. You want a tiny, tiny amount. Probably got a bit too much there. So always, when you're taking um, products out of the, I mean, you're okay with the ones you've got because you've got enough for obviously tonight. But if you were, you know, if you've got your own of these, always make sure you take it out with something. Don't just dip your finger in um, because the, the ingredients inside are that concentrated, but they can actually like, almost start to activate in the tubs. So always use a spatula or like your facial brush or whatever it is just as long as it's not like just dipping your fingers into pots and stuff now always put it on the back of your hand and using your ring fingers again because this is your weakest finger distributing it between the two and then what we're going to do we're going to do we're going just going to literally dab it on around the eye so like we did when we did our circular movements around the eye we're going to tap it around the eye socket and then with the excess, we're just gonna pop it on our lip. So around the lip, you can do top and bottom, just like that, just to use it up. And then what we're gonna do with the eye, we're simply gonna do circular movements around the eye. Again, not using too much pressure around the eye, we're not doing any drainage, we're just simply rubbing that cream in, not going too close to the eye, so really following that eye socket. I don't know why I can't help but open my mouth when, when I come to underneath. It's like putting a mascara in. 
So really working it. And then what you can do if you've got a bit of excess, you can just move it outwards. I think it's really hard for people to see, like we've not seen the, the pots that looks quite small here, but inside I'd, I'd say it's about like a grain of rice, isn't it? For per, that you need for, for, for the rise. I think this is, this is going to last you so long. Um, I think there's more eye cream in here than the RB9. I think it's at least last you about six months apart of this. Okay. And then when it comes to your lip, just literally rub it in. Again, not too much pressure. It's so important to be using an eye cream, a specialised eye cream, because obviously our skin around our eyes is so, so sensitive and it's so thin. Um, so we're all rubbed in. So last but not least is our night cream. Now why, a lot I get asked so much, why should you have a day cream and a night cream? Like, is there really that much difference? Yes, there is. In my opinion, a night cream is more important than a day cream. Obviously, we'd rather use both, but if it was out of the two, it's a night cream, and that is because your skin repairs itself 80 times more at night while your skin's resting. This obviously has um, your 2% coochie oil in as well. So again, using your spatula or a cotton bud or whatever you've got, just take a little bit out. Around a 5p piece, I use. Now I tend to personally, me personally, I get about nine months out of an eye cream. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna apply, and then we're gonna do the same as like we did with our oil. So we're gonna spread it across, and then we're just gonna apply all over. Also on our neck and our chest, if we've got any left. We do, um, if the neck area is a concern to any of you, we do have a specialised neck cream, which is um, also in the Agewell um, collection. So if that is something of a concern to you, then just go back to your consultant and they'll be able to give you some more information on that. So what we're gonna do, same as like we did with our cleanser, we're gonna work the cream up we are going to look absolutely beautiful in the morning, all of us. So really working. So you'll feel that the product really starts to soak into the skin. there we have it we should have if, we've, if i've done it right <laughs> we should have used all our products now in our little bundles um i would love to know either pop it in the comments or unmute yourself how does your skin feel is this the first time you've ever used anything arbon or the age well in itself we would love to know your feedback how are all your skins feeling you all look super glam and super refreshed Lovely. <laughs> I think um, if anyone is using the products for the first time, when I first used the Age Well, um, my skin was a little bit like um, almost a, a little bit tingly, just not not uncomfortable. But I could tell that there was something different on, and I think it's just because the skin cells are really actively working using a really active product. So 
if that's how you feel, I don't, I mean, I don't get it now, but it's the first time around, if you are experiencing that, it's probably just normal. Go down and then you probably won't experience that again. So nice. Oh. Thank you so much, Rachel. It's been amazing. <laughs> We'd love to know in the morning how how you um, how all of your skin feels in the morning. You're all ready for bed now, and also, you know, after that massage, how you're all sleeping as well. Your detox tea and and that massage and how that's helped you kind of go into relaxation. So it'd be really interesting to know tomorrow. Get your feedback. Um, and I think if anyone's got any questions, or you're either welcome to reach out to myself or Rachel directly. Or, you know, your consultant and we can help you with any questions or concerns or anything you might have. And um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. If you've got any questions about the pots and how to return, you can reach out to me or, you know, send us a message. And um, I've absolutely loved it. Thank you again, Rachel. You're an absolute superstar. And thank you everybody for joining us and being brave with your faces and <laughs> cameras on. Janet's battery died, but she's loving it. Oh, thank you so much, everybody. And um, I'll see you all soon. Take care, guys.